Maserati is the only premium brand and has a history of 109 years. It has maintained itself as a small brand with just three models, the Maserati Quattroporte and Ghibli sedans and the Levante SUV. The 2024 Maserati Gran Turismo four-door coupe will soon follow, followed by the Gran Cabria convertible. The Levante quickly became the volume leader after its 2017 launch. With a choice of two mild hybrid powertrains or the 523 HP Neduno V6 powered Trofeo, the smaller Gracale SUV has been on sale exclusively in the US since the beginning of the year, arriving on the West Coast on March 1st. It has already taken over the sales crown from its big brother and is proving adept at conquering the sales of other brands. It is the first Maserati hybrid for the North American market. The Gracale Folgor, the brand's battery electric version, will go on sale later this year. The brand has the flexibility to adjust the model mix to meet the demand for each powertrain. The 2024 Gran Turismo 2 Plus 2 Coupe returns after a five-year hiatus to assume the role of brand icon. It features a refreshed look, front mid-engine layout, first-ever AWD, standard air suspension, signature side vents, Italian flag above the glove box, each side of the dash it's engraved with, Maserati since 1914, on one end and has tridents on each side. Sitting on a custom platform, it's currently on sale in Europe and will go on sale in the US this spring in two variants, the Modena and the Trofeo, both with 3.0-liter twin turbos. With the Netuno V-6. By the end of the year or early 2024, Maserati will add the 2024 Gran Turismo Fulgor. This model is a battery electric model using 800-volt technology and will be the fastest and most expensive GT in the range. The Fulgor drops the tailpipes, adds body color panels, brightens the portholes and wears an inverted version of the grille. There is a hybrid version of the midsize sedan offered in Europe, but not in North America, where it's built by Ferrari in Marinello and produces up to 580 horsepower, could a noted ice power with engines capable of reaching nearly 200 miles per hour. $115,000. Maserati is committed to offering the Ghibli for the 2024 model year, after which production is expected to cease. Everything will change with the new generation Levante, which will have an electric version in 2025. Peffer won't say whether the next generation Levante will still have ICE versions. It has been a volume vehicle since its introduction and has created attention for the brand. The supercar is the successor to the MC12 and is offered as a coupe and convertible MC20 Cielo. According to Grasso, the all-electric MC20 will arrive in 2025. Maserati deliberately keeps the volume low, so the car maintains a degree of exclusivity. Each model year is sold out at once, and then customers have to wait for the next model year. This happened for the 2023 model year, including the MC20 Cielo unit, which sold out quickly. There are several hundred orders for the Cielo in the US, of which only 20 have been delivered so far. The end of the Ferrari V8 era. The 2024 model year will be the last model in the current lineup for Ferrari V8 engines. After that, dealers were told the base models with the Ferrari built, Maserati designed V8 would be sunset, Peffer says. That includes the Ghibli, Quattroporte and Levante variants. Peffer says there are plans to do some cool stuff with the latest models before the 580 horsepower, 538 pound-feet 3.8 liter V8 goes. Picking up the slack is the Netuno engine, which is the first Maserati built and designed engine with no Ferrari input but some F1 technology. The twin-turbo 3.0-liter Netuno V6 has a wide range, the base Gran Turismo offers 483 horsepower in Modena trim, 542 horsepower in the high-performance Trofeo, the Gracale has 523 horsepower in the Trofeo, 621 horsepower in the MC20, and around 740 horsepower in the track-only Project 24 version of the MC20. The volume of SUVs allows Maserati to produce niche cars like the MC20 and other halo cars like the Gran Turismo. Despite being 109 years old and at the head of the chain at Stellantis, the challenge is to raise awareness for the brand. New nameplates like Gracale and Fulgore EV sub-brand need awareness.